Hi there, everybody. This is Mark Bromley, author and artist of the Ranting Book Series. And today I am introducing to you uh, what I was doing with Chat GPT through Copilot and Dolly 3 for uh, AI assisted artwork. I was using the description through the Uranthium book series to create several characters from the book, and I was putting these pictures together to show you how that actually turned out as I described the image of Kamithra. At first, I started out just describing Kamithra in general. I wasn't using the book at the time. And it began with this image right here that kind of looks uh, somewhat like Avatar, like James Cameron's Avatar. As you can see, the hair is pink the ears are a little bit too long uh, there's too many veins coming in there and it's not really showing the scales it's way too blue it's not enough pink in there so it kind of got the message of interlaced blue and pink a little bit way off and it's kind of more fairy tale like it looks more like just a fairy and uh, although it's a nice image I, I'm not gonna deny that it's uh, it's not exactly the image I was going for so yeah yeah the eyes are way too big and uh, yeah it doesn't really convince me that this is actually the right thing because those wings and other parts of the image that are just uh, just a little bit off and this was one of the very first ones of the of the series that I was actually working with and developing. This was the second picture it sent, and this one is way too heavy on the makeup idea. I mean, it is giving me the idea that you can actually do this as a, as a real image for like movies. Uh, if you rent the books, get picked up to become a movie and stuff like that, I can actually translate the images into. Uh, into an actress playing the part of Kamithra. And uh, the pink hair is still there, the blue skin. But this is too artsy. This is just too painterly. It's still kind of makeup. Now, this image right here is a lot better. It is a lot more princess like, but it's still kind of the fairy wings are still back there. But we got these swirly shapes right down here that you can see. And that actually looked kind of cool for for the sea elf image right there and I thought that was kind of fantastic it didn't overdo the scales or anything and uh, it tended to give a very nice fa fantasy look uh, fantastic look to it I liked it a little bit quite a bit and uh, yeah it's still workable and I wish I had access to things like Maya and and a better computer for uh, blender rendering of 3D images because I would li like to actually work with those a little bit more often if I could uh, because it seems like I would be doing a lot better chat GPT and the AI interface is actually somebody else's artwork you can completely see it you can completely see that there's other models in there they probably based this on a doll and uh, then they took a few images from some other things. Now this is one of, uh, this is a bit spectacular image that actually came out. I was surprised with this one. Uh, it kind of got the glitterly gold, oranges and reds a little bit too much in the initial work. It still didn't capture the interlaced blue and pink skin. It didn't understand the difference between the skin tone is like pink and then the blue is like, how the shadow is reacting to the scales the fish scales that are very smooth and skin like uh, this is more like still kind of doll like uh, then they gave it a fish tail and uh, well i didn't ask for any fish tails it's a sea elf uh, not a mermaid it's a sea elf uh, the ears are still a little bit too big they have too many spines there's only two extra spines on the back and um it just got a little bit out of hand on the ears there, but it, it's actually coming together a little bit better. It's starting to understand my instructions. And uh, I think that at this point is when I was going to the actual script and pulling the actual script out to throw in the actual description of what it should be looking for and trying to create, because uh, it's still trying, the uh, AI is struggling to understand what I'm actually creating. Uh, but 
this reference material is very good because it's saying that that I already have a fantastic book. And when I start showing you the other AI characters that I started illustrating through the same methods, you'll start to see how they all work together and cohesively uh, create an image for the Urantium book series if they were turned into a live production, a live production with some actors and actresses. And uh, it's actually not turning out too bad. You can even do this for puppets. This looks good for puppets, I suppose. Yeah, get, get along with Jim Henson Studio and stuff. But then it got a little backwards. It started getting just more animated. And uh, you can see that the skin tone started working out. They smoothed it out on the face area, but the body it fell apart. They became thick, heavy scales. And there was too much scaling on the top of the head that it makes it look like, like she's going bald and the hairs around the back of the back of the head, mostly falling down to the back. And the ears are way too long, like an antelope's long ears or something like that, kind of like a bunny rabbit now. And um, not exactly an elf. Um, yeah, when we get to uh, Thernia's picture, you'll see there's a couple of goblin looking ears and elf ears, goblin ears, apparently they can't tell the difference. And uh, the AI is struggling with necks. Necks are, tend to be a little bit too long. Um, so there is some proportional issues that are still within this, but it's it's a pretty picture too. It's a, it's a nice uh, frame right there. Uh, it's workable, it, but it's still too European looking and she looks more Asian in reality. Uh, still the same issues right there and at this point I think the AI was trying to convince me that it was doing what I told it to do because it put her name up there then it started saying pink skinned over the gold glitter area and then uh, a couple of other uh, words for various other skin tones and the scale still ended up being a little bit too big, the ear a little bit too big with too many spines, the spines coming off the chin, making it look like whiskers. Uh, then it looks like demon horns on the side of the eyebrows. And what is that? A trident on the forehead. Uh, no, that's not the exact image that I was going for. But it's trying. It's struggling. It's trying. It's trying to convince me that it's doing what I'm telling it to do, but it's not. It's not really doing what it what I want it to do. It. I, I guess it's having issues understanding my description. I think it's struggling with that, and uh, I'll I'll have to work with that because it's it's a work in progress. Obviously, it's a work in progress. It's going to take hours telling the AI what this image is supposed to look like. And I think I can probably draw it faster, to be honest with you, because here's another doll's head with a model's face superimposed, too big of ears. There's some frills on the side of the head there. Uh, the scales are much too big. Another doll head with purple eyes this time, at least it got purple eyes. We can work with purple eyes, probably clip those out, but those are too big. They're supposed to be more narrow. Uh, the scales are still too uh, too much out there, like just like this one. This one's getting a little bit better, but it still looks doll-like. The ears are wrong. There's some kind of weird horns going on in the back with like big puff balls on the side. And uh, yeah, it, it's not really working out well with the scales. Although it's it's very painterly-like. It's very, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, another doll head. And uh, that's what we're looking at, a lot of doll heads, probably doll heads and doll bodies, and uh, the ears are still a little bit too big, a little bit too wrong. Uh, the hair's gotten better, the eyes gotten better. Uh, now it just went into drawings, and when it went into drawings, it did do large scales again. Uh, started putting leaves in the hair, the ears are wrong, I mean, forward and backwards, I mean, it's a strange kind of ear. And, uh, yeah, it's still kind of missing the the whole thing, the imagery. It's struggling. It's it's working over time because it's throwing these pictures together all at once. There's like a little, there's like four of these pictures in one picture. And it's, um, it's throwing them together because it's struggling to understand Kamithra. It's just 
description because it wants to keep putting in these large, huge scales. That's what it keeps seeing. So yeah, we're fighting with each other. Me and the AI are fighting. We're, we're struggling here to communicate. And uh, now it goes to total anime uh, because it still can't get it. It still can't get the image right. It's still, it's really struggling now because they said narrow eyes, narrow. Those are not narrow, those are huge, huge eyes. But but it's kind of cute and stuff like that, the way it's going. This is probably one of the cutesy and best cutesy images we got. The hair is good. The ears are getting a little bit better. They're a little bit smaller. Uh, it's still it's still a work in progress. The scales are a little bit too big still. Uh, but it's kind of cartoony, too cartoony. You can use that for any real picture. And then it went even more into that genre because uh, it was thinking anime at this point. Uh, because it's struggling to actually meet realistic standards. So, because it can't meet realistic standards, it's gotten completely uh, pen and ink now. And uh, there it is. It's basically just taking somebody else's artwork and trying to turn it into Kamithra. So, so okay, we're looking at the work there that's being done, and uh, and at this point, we've kind of. We've kind of uh, lost our basis right here. So describing it to AI, AI is struggling too hard to actually do it. But then we get a reversal back into the doll heads again. And it's still stuck on that scales. Those scales are still stuck. The ears are still stuck. It just can't do it. It's struggling too hard. And there's a blemish on the chin. And there's freckles. How do the freckles happen? I don't know now. This looks like the woman from uh, Any Which Way But Lose with uh, Clint Eastwood and, you know, Clyde the Big Giant Ape. Uh, that looks like the uh, the female actor and the woman actor in the Any Which Way But Lose. That's what that, that looks like. So very European face, but not exactly Kamithra, but pretty nonetheless. And uh, the hair is uh, the right color. The scales got a little bit smaller. They're a little bit... Uh, less noticeable, but uh, it's still not exactly right because Kamitha is actually more Asian, as we'll see a little bit later. And uh, I had to explain more information, providing more information, trying to get this picture more correct. But as you can see, this is now starting to fit more of a uh, actual reality of trying to turn it into a real movie. And we can actually see that it goes back to being a doll head again because it's still struggling. It wants to keep going back to the same scales, the same scales. It wants to keep doing that. And uh, now this is more Asian. It's starting to look more Asian. And um, and it looks like a certain famous actress at this point. And now we have models. We have some Asian models here. And this is actually starting to get a little bit more realistic. It's trying to point out that it's following my instructions but it still hasn't got the ears right. The ears are still off. The scales are too big. Uh, it still doesn't understand that subtlety. It's still struggling to understand it. Although it has nice makeup, the face is actually getting a little bit better. Uh, it's trying to say that it, the pink hair is alabaster, but it's still kind of pinkish. So it's still not working exactly the way it thinks it's doing it. Uh, so it has several different algorithms going on all at once, and it's trying to put this whole thing together. And, you know, we've been working together for quite, well, quite a few hours on just one figure alone. I was trying to figure out what words to tell it so it can actually truly understand what I'm, what I'm describing. And uh, it just keeps coming up with these uh, big, giant, coin-sized scales. And here's another very nice picture. I think this is one of the nicer pictures that came out that looked uh, Asian and stuff for Kamithra. Has the uh, frills coming out there. If we cut off three of those frills and round them, we might actually be better off. The hair is still pink. We need to mellow that out and make that more alabaster, and that might actually look better. Uh, we got more makeup, the eyes are looking a little bit better, the face is looking a bit better, the mouth is better, the nose is better. The neckline is still a little bit way too long, and the scales are way too obvious because they're supposed to be a lot more subtle, and I don't like those veins on the side of the face. But 
but we could actually put a real actress in something similar to this and we would actually have a stunning picture a, a stunning actress for the movie in a real dimensional appearance and so we see that that's working now this is probably one of the best ones that came out the scales are too much but if we smooth all that out and we we dilute that and we get back to what the actual appearance of Kamithra is supposed to be this would actually work out fantastic we got the purple eyes the pink lips we got the nose that's a little bit too pink on the end but uh, we have the ears they're a little bit smaller take off the three bot the four bottom frills we might actually have a ear that we can work with because they have to look more human like instead of just uh, kind of like uh, I don't know just fins yeah they're looking like fins so understanding sea elf and mermaid I think this uh, chat J a this AI still needs to understand a lot of differences there now this is a very uh, nice picture the scales are wrong uh, again much too big much too long uh, we got better makeup we have earrings we have uh, we remove like four or five of those spines we'd be do a lot better we could put two of them out there and we could put jewelry on them and we can make that look a lot better so it gave me a lot of ideas for uh, direction to go forward with uh, improving the images for Kamithra I might even redo the actual book cover with a, a better picture because as we can see these from the Asian perspective here and moving through these pictures we are actually got got into our best pictures right here already and uh, they're getting quite nice I could touch these things up and actually make a much more interesting Kamithra that for the back-to-back -back picture that would actually when you see when I get to showing you the pictures of Rel Relmir you will start to see how these pictures actually go quite well together how they meld together well how gentry looks how a few other of them looks and how they all start to come together more solidly together as wonderful images that actually look fantastic working together and I, I think it's just uh, great working with the chat GPT the AI at least because I couldn't use my a 3d rendering program with a conf uh, with a low great computers I got I need resources I need money I need help with that uh, so I can actually produce uh, better higher quality work um, if you would like to uh, get the Urantheum book go ahead help out the artwork get the t-shirts uh, go to my patreon uh, or just donate straight up I mean uh, either way if you want to become part of the financing to actually move Urantheum towards a more realistic movie a real more realistic uh, production with actual actors actresses a whole entire uh, bunch of artists coming in to actually collaborate and actually uh, really make these images uh, come to life on film in movie well then let's start working on this together because uh, the these images aren't really good this is more something that I guess if you're a makeup artist this will probably work well but if you were going to do it for movies you're going to actually have to get a lot more subtle a lot more softer because you want to make this much more uh, human like for real like you'd be interested in this kind of stuff and uh, you'd actually want to make it look uh, really wonderful and I'm gonna start showing these pictures a little bit more so I can put these two together and uh, try to get something more consistent uh, that looks more accurate I mean I, this is my first time messing with chat GPT and uh, the AI rendering programs maybe there's just more detail that it needs more instruction in order to actually get the actual image that I'm looking but we'll definitely work on that and we'll see uh, where I can get that to I'm gonna show you a couple of the other videos that I made for Realmir for Bronanes, for Thurnia, and I'm going to get around to trying to create Hespesia on there as well, and so you can see the uh, Debenser and uh, 
a few of the other characters that show up within the uh, Uranthian book series. Uh, Dresdai, we're going to have her there too, and she's going to have to show up. And um, and we'll start to illustrate these pictures a lot more. I, I think you're going to see why some of the concepts that I'm talking about in this book are actually quite phenomenal and quite interesting as far as uh, where I really want to take this thing to. Because uh, my artwork, my tools that I have are very limited. I got basically 256 color two-dimensional works on, uh, on my computers here that are not the uh, best quality. They are difficult to work with. I can't really do layering and everything else that I need to do in order to actually make these things really work. And uh, so, so yeah, it's kind of not not working out exactly the way I had planned. And um, working with Chat GPT, the AI, although I'm not really thrilled with being led by the hand by the AI to somebody else's art style. Um, it's okay. It's it's a start. It's it's not the greatest, but we're working and uh, we're making it a little bit better and more improved. And I'm pretty sure when you see the next couple of videos about the other characters that I made and stuff like that using this process, you'll probably see that yeah, this whole thing comes together a lot better the more I start describing it. We're going to actually narrow down those uh, scales and we're going to drop them down and we're going to get rid of that stuff and uh, that's going to be pretty good. Well, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, little journey on Kamithra here and uh, this looks like a wonderful way to go through the whole entire thing and um, I hope you enjoyed this whole entire show here and uh, we came up with some really good looking uh, Kamithra images for uh, for future references. And uh, this is my first time working with ChatGPT and the AI programs and uh, instructing them how to create these images. And it's a start. It's just a start. And if you get the Uranthium book series, go to uranthiumbromley.com. That's the website for the book. It's in ebook format. I'm still I'm delayed on releasing the hardback book that was supposed to be coming out this month, but it's going to be delayed by a month or two now because of uh, some little hang-ups and hookups that just came up. But it, it's a pretty good series, and I do need your support and your assistance. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for looking, and this is uh, Kamithra through uh, ChatGPT AI rendering. Well, you all have a great day.